I think it's five or six. Damn. <laughs> Podcasts are hilarious. Oh, so you, funny. You didn't answer yesterday for like two hours. I legit I was like, dude, what if you just died? Yeah. Never not answers. You'd find out Podcast. by uh, <laughs> uh you'd have to check. I don't know. Maybe your family would do something on social media. I feel like I wouldn't know for like a couple of weeks. Yeah, it's kind of hard to know, man. I mean, um, if you're isolated from like a search full of people, um, to know if, if someone died. Um, like I know I got I got a homie that does things like you know, travels, not super plugged into anywhere <laughs> where anyone knows social media, and even with social media, if someone's died. It has to come from like a another social media post. You ever think about death? Uh, not really, but I feel like I've um, I listened to something the other day that was uh, I think it was talking about always keeping death in mind. I forget the reason it was talking about. I think for maybe a like a spurring action thing um i forget i I wish i remembered but and so i heard that but then i was thinking um always kind of um i think i always had death subconsciously like dealt with not dealt with but in my mind because um a parent dying. Um, I always thought that differentiated my view on death and other people's. Because I did think about it a lot. I think maybe like middle school or like high school, college. I think that's kind of normal though. I was also talking to a homie yeah. um, in middle school. And he, he posted something like, it was a meme of like a person looking in a mirror. Um, and it was it said, you ever look at yourself in the mirror and be like, damn, I'm a human being. I'm really just, I'd be in this shit, you know? Um, and I was telling them I had a, like an existential consciousness, a classic coming of age in middle school. And I was looking at a skeleton in the science class. And I was like, well, I'm not like a walking skeleton, but I kind of am a walking skeleton. But I'm also not like the meat that makes up of it. Uh, and then you go to the mind and stuff. And then if you're in the Sam Harris meditation, then that also isn't separate from experience and all that. Consciousness is kind of just a overarching experience vortex. And thoughts are similar to a sound that pops up that you have no control over. Do you think about death, Bon Jen? Yeah, daily. That's interesting. Uh, my homie had a co- had a cousin who was younger than us, perfectly healthy, had a seizure and died. So it's like, yeah. damn, you really just leave at any time. 